Today, AMD has a monster CPU coming, something new to consider when deciding on a new GPU, NVIDIA's 4060 and 4070 specs get confirmed, and AMD's ultimate answer to destroy Intel. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, while well, AMD's Epic Genoa GPUs have already been released, we haven't heard much about an X variant like their Milan X CPUs that include 3D vCache. That is, until now. And let's just say Epic is about to get way more, uh, epic. Okay, that was lame, but regardless, we have an update from WCCF Tech, and it's very interesting. According to the story, they were able to get a hold of a leaked spec sheet, which shows some unbelievable specs. As you can see, Genoa X is apparently going to happen, and it actually includes an unreal amount of cache. According to this, we're looking at a whopping 1152 megabytes of L3 cache and 96 megabytes of L2 cache, for a total of 1248 megabytes of combined L2 and L3 cache. That's a massive upgrade over even Milan X, which also used 3D V cache. Ultimately, it looks like AMD isn't slowing down anytime soon, and that means Intel had better look out. And of of course, while PC hardware is amazing to talk about, sometimes I love to really dig deep into how things actually work. And now you can with this video's sponsor, Brilliant, the online learning platform that was made to teach computer science as well as other STEM fields. So it's the perfect place, but it's actually more than that. I love them because you don't just read a bunch of text or watch videos. You get in there and actually do it yourself. And you do that with these fun and visual problems so you see what's actually happening. It really makes learning difficult concepts easier than ever. And they have tons of courses for whatever you're interested in, whether that's learning how you're computer's RAM works, to coding, or even wild stuff like quantum computing. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or even an expert, they've really got it all. And today's the best time to try it out because they're offering my viewers a 30-day free trial when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld. Plus, when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you'll get 20% off the annual premium. Next up for today, it looks like we have yet another thing to think about when deciding between an AMD and NVIDIA GPU. In a new video from Monitors Unboxed, which is a secondary channel from Hardware Unboxed, he discusses an Alienware HDR monitor and goes over a new firmware update to see if it fixes an issue with the monitor's HDR1000 mode, which is supposed to increase brightness of the screen's brightest colors up to 1000 nits, but instead it simply ups the brightness across the board. That's obviously an issue given a HDR is literally about upping contrast between your dark and light areas. Unfortunately, the firmware update doesn't make much of a difference in anything but the lowest end of luminance. Luckily, he was able to adjust a few settings to help get a better image, but there's a major issue. According to the video, because AMD GPUs use the tone mapping and freezing, you aren't able to make changes to fix the peak 1000 mode, yet you can with Nvidia's GPU because you use a standard pipeline. Basically, both GPUs are essentially the same for default settings, but you can only overcome the brightness curve issue with NVIDIA GPUs. It's a very odd result, and one that likely does need addressing. With that said, this is an overly specific use case scenario, and more seems to be an issue with the monitor over what GPU you own. But it's yet another thing to potentially think about when buying your next monitor. Next up, it looks like NVIDIA's upcoming GPUs have just been confirmed by Gigabyte. The news drop thanks to the Gigabyte Control Center app, which is the company's platform application that connects a bunch of their products, including their GPUs. In a new version of the app, Gigabyte included support for both the RTX 4070 and RTX 4060 GPUs. As you can see, there's a 4060 Gaming OC and a 4070 Aero OC, but they didn't stop with just naming the cards, because this includes product code codes, and Gigabyte's codes are extremely easy to read. We can see that the 4070 comes with 12 gigabytes of memory, and the 4060 comes with 8, and this essentially confirms the recent leaks we've been seeing of the cards. Remember that the 4060 is expected to come with 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, while the 4070 would come with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X. Now, it doesn't confirm the exact memory type here, but that is more than likely correct. Either way, the 4070 is set to be announced on April 12th according to video cards with the 4060 still not having a date, though board partners are apparently expecting something in May. Time, as always, will tell. 
And lastly for today, AMD looks to be testing their ultimate answer to Intel's big dot little design. In a new report from Tom's Hardware, they discuss a new benchmark shown in the Milky Way at home database. Now, I haven't really used Milky Way at home as a reference in quite a while, so for those who don't know, it's basically a computing project that uses volunteer computers to create a three-dimensional model of the Milky Way galaxy. And on it, a new benchmark of an unannounced chip was spotted. And according to this report, that chip is a hybrid APU that's coming with AMD's Phoenix 2 architecture. You can see that it shows 12 logical cores, but it's apparently made up of two big cores and four little cores. Now, you may be thinking that only means eight logical cores, but this is where things get interesting. According to the leaks on Phoenix 2, the little cores from AMD aren't the same as Intel's. Instead of using two separate architectures and only adding multi-threading to the big cores, AMD's little cores come with all the same features as their big cores. They just have lower clocks and likely things like less cache to make them smaller. They're apparently set to be half the die size of their big cores. Basically, if this is right, AMD is set to come in swinging before long. With that said, given the CPU only has six cores, it's obviously not all that powerful. Well, according to the leaks, Phoenix 2 is apparently made as more of a low-end APU, but likely as a test. So if it goes well, we could potentially see AMD put it in higher-end parts. And that would obviously be a massive blow to Intel and especially what allowed them to catch up to AMD in the first place. So yeah, this is definitely more bad news for Intel. So while that does it for today, do you want to see a big dot little design with AMD? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermail. And as always, have a great day!